Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Pratkor, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In today's lecture, I will discuss about some exceptions to Mendelian principle. And these exceptions are incomplete dominance, co-dominance and multiple alleles. I will discuss them by one by one. Firstly, incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance or semi-dominance is a condition when neither the allele is in dominant form nor in recessive form. Okay? It means the F1 generation, it does not resemble to either of the parents and they were in between the parents. Okay? Let's take the example of Mirabilis jalapa. It is also known as 4 o'clock plant. Why it is known 4 o'clock plant? There is a beautiful history behind it. This special plant, it has inclination to bloom in afternoon. That is why it is known as 4 o'clock plant. The pure breeds have red and white color. When we crossed red and white plant, okay, we got F1 generation. Uh, according to Mendelian principle, the F1 plants, okay, they must resemble to one of the parent. So, the plants of F1 generation, they must be red or white. But the result was astonishing because all the plants in F1 generation, they were pink, okay. When we performed selfing to these plants, are plants of F1 generation, we got the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. 1 means one part of the plants, they were red. Two parts of the plant, they were pink. And another one, they were white. Clear? Now, multiple alleles. According to Mendelian principle, okay, each gene has two different forms or contrasting forms. But there are some genes which have more than two forms. Okay. Presence of more than two alleles for a gene is known as multiple allelism. Human blood group is the example that justifies the presence of multiple alleles. ABO blood group, it is controlled by a single gene that is denoted by I. The I gene, it has three alleles, IA, IB and I0 or it is denoted by small i. Despite of the presence of three alleles in I gene, in the same population, an individual has only two alleles. Since there are three alleles, therefore six genotypes are possible. And these genotypes are I, A, I, A. It is one genotype. Second one, I, A, I, O. Third one, I, B and I, B. Fourth one is I, B, I, O. Fifth one, it is IA or IB. And sixth one, it is denoted by IO or you can say I0, I0 or small i, small i. Now, co-dominant alleles. Alleles that lack dominant and recessive character and are observed phenotypically to same degree are called as co-dominant. So, the phenotype of each allele, it is observed in heterozygous condition. Okay? For understanding co-dominance, I have chosen a human blood group example. It will be a bit difficult for you to understand, but still I chose it because from your medical examination point of view, 
this example is very important in human blood group allele ia it produces an acetyl galactose amyl transferase it is an enzyme which recognizes h antigen that is present on rbc's membrane and this enzyme it adds an acetyl galactose amine to sugar part of h antigen and it forms a antigen okay now the allele ib it produces the enzyme that is known as galactosyl transferase which adds galactose to the sugar part of h antigen and forms b antigen okay the alleles i a and i b they produce a slight different form of sugar while allele small i it does not produce any sugar or antigen okay. i a and i b are completely dominant over smaller in other words when cap i a and i small i are present only i a expresses as i does small i does not produce any sugar and when i b and small i are present only i b expresses itself when both i a and i b are present both enzymes are sugar thus both the antigens that are a and b are produced this is because of codominance okay with this we have completed the exceptions to mendelian principle and if you have any comment or query you can visit my website that is www. amarpreetkaur. dot com. Thank you for listening.